Hello, this is Tolf from Trial for Productions with another Blender quick tip. And in this quick tip, I'm going to show you how you can transfer materials easier from one uh, object to another in Blender. I've done a tutorial on this before, and you know the old way of doing it was just you would click on the object that doesn't have the material, hold down Shift, click on the object that needs the material, and then press Control L, and then you would go down to Materials and then click on that, and it would transfer materials between one uh, object to the other. <coughs> Excuse me, but there's a better and faster way to do it, which I just found this out, which is very, very helpful. So let's go into, uh, we're in Eevee right now, so let's go into the uh, different viewport shading, click on that. You can see in this viewport we have uh, different objects with different materials. This is wood, brick, carpeting, and we have uh, a striped fabric. Now I want to transfer let's say the brick material onto the wood material. So I'm going to click on the wood. Actually, let me click on the brick. And then once I've done that, you have to make sure that you are in the, the uh, material tab. And then you just simply click, left click and drag over to the material you want the brick to be on and release. And it's that simple, that easy. Let's transfer the carpet material onto this cube here. Left click on our carpet to box material here. Left click and drag on that icon, hover over the object we need the material to be attached to, release, and there you go. Now, this is with the uh, objects that are not UV unwrapped. It's just generated. Let me open up the viewport shade so you can see what I'm talking about. Uh, let me see, drag this over. Let's split our viewport here. Is it already split? I think it's already been split. Let me pull this over to this side. Yeah, it has been split. Okay. Let me join these areas back together. Now, in our shader viewport here, you can see that this is a generated material on the box. So this works with generated materials, but let's see if it works on materials that are UV unwrapped. I'm going to go to this other uh, set of collections that I've created. Let me click off of that click on that. One of my keyboards, let me reposition my window here. Now these are uh, figures that I downloaded from Make Human. So we have one woman here, and they're both they both have the same UV coordinates, but let's see if this will work, if you can transfer the textures from her to uh, the other person on this side. Let me minimize this, you can see it better. It's been quite a long day for me, a lot of babysitting, so I'm, I'm pushing through. <coughs> Excuse me. So we're going to do the same uh, technique. We're going to drag over the materials from this character over to this character, and let's see if this works. These are two UV unwrapped images from uh, Make Human. So I'm going to have her select it. Left click and drag on this, and let's see what happens. Oh, it works. So yeah, <coughs> excuse me again, <coughs> the weather. But yeah, these are UV unwrapped images and it, you can transfer textures from one uh, UV unwrapped image to another. But I'm thinking that if they both have to be have the same UV coordinates or else it wouldn't work. Uh, let's try it on something else. Let me open up the uh, bricks here. Go back to one or three actually. <coughs> On this word is really starting to affect my throat. But we have a chair here that I've downloaded from online, the uh, office chair. Let's transfer the brick material over to this material. Now this chair has two materials on it. Let's click on our chair. Let's see what we have. We have one material. I guess this is for the, the, the chair itself. And the other material is for the, the arms. Let's minimize this, make our window bigger. So I'm going to click on our brick here. And let's see what happens when we transfer, drag and drop our texture onto this chair. See if it's the chair accepts it. Okay, it accepts it for the arms. But let's see. I'm going to try to have it go for the the uh, upholstery here, the the leather part of the chair itself. Let's see if we can drag and drop it over there. I don't think it can because I think it's kind of limited. 
in terms of what it can transfer over and what it can't. Uh, okay, this, this has been selected. Let's click on the brick again. Let's drag this over again. Okay, so, so I think that's the limitation that it has. If you have objects in your scenes that are UV unwrapped and have the same coordinates, you can drag and drop the textures onto it. If you have uh, ob objects in your scene that are not UV unwrapped, but they're just generated textures, you can drag and drop also. But if you have objects in your scene that have more than one material, it's this technique doesn't really work that well because as you've seen, we've been able to drag and drop the material, the textures onto the arms of the chair and the legs, which is one material, but onto the uh, chair itself, which is the seat in the back, we can't drag and drop at all. So that's the only limitation I, that I've seen that it has. So when you use this technique, use it in terms of dragging and dropping textures onto generated images that have single objects or single textures applied to them only per material or per object. And that's the best way to do it. And our other example here of the two ladies you can because this is uh, one mesh the body's one mesh and the dress is one mesh they both have their own specific material so I'm thinking if you would want to apply a texture onto her dress let's try that let's try to apply the texture of her body onto the dress and see if it, it goes see if it accepts it so we're trying to find the limitations of the material of this technique so we're going to click on her and then click on the material and hover it over her dress and it does it's, it's, this is UV unwrapped so obviously the coordinates aren't going to be the same for the dress as opposed to the body but you can still drag and drop material onto you know uh, an object that has its own texture applied to it and if you wanted to do it to this chair I'm thinking you would have to separate the armrest and legs from the chair itself in order to apply the material to the chair itself but that's the only limitation I've seen that it has so I said as I've said before this is a pretty good technique it's, it's faster than the control L technique so just select your material or select your object that you want the texture from and then go to your texture tab make sure that's uh, selected and drag left click and drag over to the material or the object that you want the material to be applied to and it's that simple so yeah that's uh, today's quick tip I hope it was helpful the click and drag technique for applying different textures to different objects in your scenes in Blender for beginners once again thank you guys who have watched my tutorials in the past and those of you, of you who are watching now thank you who have subscribed in the past and those of you who will subscribe in the future and I will see you guys on the next one alright adios let me do a little dragging over to this also. Put some on that. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. All right, bye.